الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر Every epoch has humble beginnings. But some are foretold centuries before. This is the time of the truth and knowledge of Islam prevailing through the promised Messiah, the 23rd of March 1889 represents the start of the era of the promised Messiah. But what is it that we as Ahmadi Muslims celebrate on this date each year? Is it simply the first bet that took place? Or is it something far greater than that? I More than a thousand years ago, a prophecy was made in a part of the world so desolate, so remote, that few had even heard of its existence. But the significance of this prophecy was so great that it was to shape the very future of mankind. This prophecy was revealed by Allah Almighty to the Holy Prophet of Islam, Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa alihi wa sallam, and was recorded in the Holy Quran for all time to come. This verse of the Holy Quran outlines the miracle of the transformation of the Arabs from an unlettered and uncivilized people to the teachers and leaders of mankind. By following the teachings of the Holy Quran, and the noble example of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu The same verses contain a prophecy of another time and place when the same spiritual phenomenon would take place. <laughs> On the 23rd of March, 1889, the promised Messiah, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed of Qadian, was to establish the Ahmadiyya Muslim community by taking bath from 40 companions under the 10 conditions in the small town of Ludhiana in India. The same phenomenon was occurring where the crux of humanity's hope was being established. Later, these same people were to strive and spread the same light that had been draped over with the darkness of ignorance. So what does the 23rd of March mean to us? It's not just the celebration of an anniversary, but a reminder of our duty as Ahmadi Muslims, the torchbearers of the light of Islam as brought to mankind by the Holy Prophet وسلم, and rekindled by the promised Messiah. So what is it that we, as the torchbearers of Islam, should do? The promised Messiah has said, 
If you are honest, then be thankful and fall prostrate with gratitude that you have found the time which was awaited by your ancestors and the longing for which countless souls have passed on to the next life. As the promised Messiah, alayhi salatu wasalam, has said, we should be grateful to Almighty Allah that we are of those fortunate ones who have been guided to the path of righteousness. We should thank him through prayers and acts of righteousness, acts of goodness that are done with pure intentions and sincerity of heart. أحيا العلوم تجددا. Being an Ahmadi Muslim means following the conditions of initiation as set out by the Promised Messiah, alayhi salatu wasalam. To know what these conditions are and what they demand of us, read Ten Conditions and Our Responsibilities of Bayt by Hazrat Khalifatul Masih V. Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed, Ayyad Allah Ta'ala bin Nasr al-Aziz.